Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Blood Rain. I'm Salem's Pet Jr., or you can call me Salem for short, if that's easier, and we are playing the terminal cut of the game. Basically, the terminal cut is the remastered version, so it's, it's not a remake, it's still the same game as the 2002 game. It's just been touched up for modern machines. So we're going to be going on training. We'll be playing on normal mode. 1933, Morton, Louisiana. That is a horrible outfit. Not practical for this line of work at all. Jump equals press in space. It's a very high jump. So yeah, I originally played this game on the PlayStation 2, but I never finished it. So I'm going to rectify that with this Let's Play. I like her jump animation. It's kind of like Spider-Man. Blood rain automatically tight ropes when close enough to an appropriate object. To avoid obstacles, you may need to jump over them. Press space to jump. Very nice. I always, always mess this up. Okay, let's try that again. Nope. There we go. Can't wait to do this with a hundred enemies shooting at me later on. Let's check inside. Let's not. Locked. And the windows are blocked. Let's hope they didn't barricade the door from the inside. Rebound kick. Jump space, then release and press again near any character or breakable environment piece. Wow, that looks very weightless. Oh, it's blocked from the other side. But there seems to be the developers knew their audience. Kindly make us a new door, Miss Rain. I'd like to investigate. Sure. Rebound kit can be used to break down weak spots and walls. Very nice. All right, let's destroy this table. Yeah. Stupid table. Stupid chairs. There we go. Now we have some space here. No pun intended, because I'm pressing the space key. There we go. Blade kick attack equals mouse button one. All we had to do was touch that thing and it exploded. You look like a discount version of the tyrant from Resident Evil. Boom! Why do they do that? She's not even moving. Watch this. Press mouse button 1 for level 1, quick swipe. Press now to trigger level 2, spin kick. Fill your bloodlust meter to earn a blood rage bomb. Ooh, a bomb. You fill your bloodlust meter to earn... Oh, hit mouse button 1 for level 1, spinning blade. Okay, nice. Press mouse button 1 now to trigger level 2, blood rage, scissor kick. Enter Blood Rage Caps Lock to gain a speed advantage, increase dismemberment, and perform new attacks. I'm just gonna mash the button. Like, I'm not gonna Show time off. it. Bloodlust satisfied? Not bad. Shh. There's one. She's not even moving! A sense to see it in the dark. Press 3 to enter Aura Vision. Aura Vision works well as night vision, but it also shows enemies' health and awareness. Easy prey, if you want it. He's a big meal. Look how bright his aura is. He has no idea we're here. He's not panicking or hurt. Yet. This one's yours. Take him down or grab a bite to eat. So casual about it. Tap E quickly to bite. Okay. Steer standing victims to use as a human shield. Alright. Stupid table. Wait, what's in here? Nothing, just two beds. What's upstairs? I'm not supposed to be exploring, but I'm doing it anyways because it's kind of a cool level. Yeah, everything is breakable. I didn't know you could go outside. Look at this. Alright, I have to get back inside, so. Whoops. Can I break this door? Keep overshooting the jump. Alright, we have to... 
go back to where Mints originally broke the door. This one. Uh oh, there we go. I was gonna say, am I like stuck outside? Crap. Well, we got lost on the training level. <laughs> I am the best Blood Rain player there ever was. There we go. Alright, let's kill this guy. He's already wandered outside. Die. Die. There we go. Good girl. Where to now? You tell me. Use your aura sense. If you don't know where to go, use your aura vision and look for a bright glow. This glow is your immediate objective. This glow will even shine through walls. Guess we're done here. Very nice. Let's go to the church. I always appreciate waypoints in games. Save game. Yes. Let's overwrite this one. And now we're done the training level, and the real game begins. Damn bloodsuckers. Careful with your relatives. They should have more sense. Thanks for dragging me out here. I just love the water. You're only half a vampire. A dip might hurt, but it won't kill you. Sort of sticking a finger in my eye doesn't mean I have to do it. No time for pleasantries. Just like your half-sister. I'm just confident in my abilities. So am I. But this is your first assignment for the Brimstone Society. So everything must go according to plan. What do we know so far? Fine. Newspapers claim the people of Morton, Louisiana are turning into some type of monster. They're calling them mutates. Doctors think a new disease is the cause, so they quarantine the area. You make me proud. There are numerous known biological masses in town. They appear to be the carriers of the condition. And that's where you come in. Destroy the sources of the infection. And as many of the infected townspeople as possible. The disease cannot spread beyond this village. Sort of a radical cure, don't you think? Mm, you'll be doing them a favor. In the final stages, their brains liquefy and run out their nose and ears. Hell of a cold. One of the biological masses was found at the end of this road, in a graveyard behind the church. We'll meet up there. What's that mound by the telephone pole? A very bad texture. What is it? It is, was, human. Might be remains from the final stages of the disease, but there's something not quite right about it. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been fully rendered. Hmm, seems like somebody made their last stand here. Grab some guns if you want. I always love it in old games when characters interact with objects without physically touching the objects. WS to move Blood Rain forward and backward. Mouse turns. Something, something. It went away too quickly. Adjust the sensitivity of turn turning looking in the control options menu. Okay, well, I'm actually okay with this sensitivity. Feels quite nice. Alright. Nice church. I like the level design. Well, I like the level design of this particular chapter because it's very spooky. You know, the fog and the dead trees and the cabins and churches. Very uh, evil deadish. There's a frog! Yeah, um, that's one thing that I don't like about this game. The Good future levels are very industrial. Like I mean, it's a game about vampires. Every level should be spooky. You should be all set. I'm going to leaf through these documents. Maybe I can find something about past outbreaks of the disease. <sighs> You should already know that. 
should know that information before entering the field, I feel. Oh no, they can use guns. And how convenient. There are guns lying right before us. Right, so not only is this a hack and slash game, but this is also a third person shooter. I'm surprised they didn't cover that in the training, but nevertheless, we have our first set of firearms. So, right click will use the guns. I. Well, I don't really like these guns, they're too weak. I'd rather just do that much faster. Okay, maybe it's not that much faster. It's still kind of slow. Press caps to activate Blood Rage. Press F to pick up the double barrel shotgun. Oh, okay, so we have the Ethica 33 and the double barrel. Let's go with the double barrel. Um, and it's R to cycle between your guns. Leave it on special, I think, because special is more powerful. That wall stretches across the whole town, 30 feet high. I can see that. So? From what I understood, even the earliest French settlers feared something in these swamps. Feared what? What's this? After our dark year, in 1873, the first stone of this great wall of fortitude was laid. With this plaque mounted in the year 1888 of our Lord, construction is complete. May this wall of fortitude, with the grace of God, shield us from evil and keep us safe, now and forever. Seems like they built that wall for nothing. I'm going to see what else I can find in those books. You should take out those biomasses. The first ones in the graveyard. I'll meet up with you later. Sure. Goodbye, Mints. Well, unlike Mints, uh, I actually like the design of Bloodrain. I think she looks pretty cool. My favorite touch is the set of ribbons in her hair. I guess they kind of take the place of a cape. But uh, yeah, very cool design for a character, I must say. I would like to see Blood Rain come back for modern consoles. I feel like this game, or this type of game, would really benefit from modern graphics and modern gameplay mechanics. As it stands, it's pretty much a time capsule from the early 2000s. Alright, so the arrow on our radar, or compass, whatever that thing is, is telling us to go up. So let's tightrope across and see what we can find. Spooky scary trees! Alright, let's save our game. Make a new save. Investigate the biomass. Alright. Yeah, so she said that a dip will hurt us, it won't kill us. So if we go, we actually, uh, if we go into the water, we're gonna start to steam here. And let's bite this guy so we can replenish our health. Very nice. Thank you for the ammo. Graveyard. Yeah, this first level of the game is probably my favorite level um, in the campaign, which is kind of unfortunate because it's the first level. Yeah, after all the- or after this level, it's just um, basically industrial settings, hallways, corridors, warehouses, uh, very boring stuff. It's not nearly as interesting as this. I'm surprised that you know, I don't like when I think like gothic imagery like this. I think graveyards, mansions, castles. 
I think the final level is a castle, but it still doesn't really feel Halloween-ish. To me, this game should be uh, all Halloween. Anything with vampires should be spooky. Is that the biomass? Yeah, very, uh... Yeah. <laughs> There's some disgusting imagery in this game. Let's tie rope across. There we go. I don't want to stay in the water because I'm already almost dead, but I'm not doing a very good job. There we go. I made it. What was the aura button? It was three? Yeah, there we go. So we actually have to go that way. Kinda don't want to though. Because it's surrounded by water. Okay, let's turn that off. How do I turn this off? Nope. Q, W, V, -E T, D, F, G, H. Ah, what button gets rid of my vision? One. One. Okay, one. Why wouldn't it just be three? Like, that's kind of annoying. Anyways, let's feed on this guy so we don't die. Nom, 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 nom. Give me your blood. Cool. Gotta love how he fires his gun right before he dies. I wonder if that's... If that carries a double meaning, hmm. I would not be surprised if it did. The door is locked. The biomass. It's a nest. Biomass sounds too scientific. This thing needs more of a more of a monster name. Like I don't know. The, uh, the Creeping Pulse. Yeah, let's go with that. Called the Creeping Pulse. Oh, I just realized it has a life bar. I could have used my Blood Rage, but I'll save it for the next boss. If you even want to call this a boss. Well done. Strange creatures, aren't they? Are you done reading your textbooks? That comes to mind. What are they? That was completely unnecessary. A disease that causes mutations in humans. The mutates. Right. And remember those sludge mounds we've been finding everywhere? What about them? Humans. What's left of them? The spider creatures regurgitate what they eat. Strange doesn't even begin to cover it. No. No. Is somebody there? Open up. Are the morass wreck gone? Is what gone? The morass wreck. Swamp monster. That's what the Creole call the creatures. Are they gone? Yes, now open the door. Mon dieu, le diable! Nice welcome for the rescue team. Who are you? I'm Jean Sigmund. I'm the grave digger. What happened here? I don't know. I hid in here when those, when those things came. They, they can't get in without them holes. Jean, you stay put. I wonder if the developers are laughing their asses off. You'll bring other survivors here. We not leaving? Hmm? Not yet. You'll be safe here for a while longer. Okay, okay. Send them here to find me to main mausoleum and we will. If you find anyone that is healthy and alive, send them here. But don't forget about the nests. Seems like they built that wall for nothing. Maybe. Or maybe this time around, things got worse. These creatures are very insect-like. Seems every 30 years they swarm. I almost forgot. 